of a young dog about the fact that maybe osteoarthritis mm. because historically we framed that as a very depressing conversation yeah you know 30 years ago i was having this those conversations oh i'm sorry your mm. pet has osteoarthritis it's a lifelong incurable disease associated with pain i mean that's depressing no one wants to have that what we should be saying is thank you for coming in i am so glad i've caught this because yes. we can change your pet's future if yes. you act now will change your pet's future future if we wait six seven years we're not going to be able to do much you know what you're my brother from another mother that was in a slide that i did recently which was oh, yeah? <laughs> there was a picture of a dog's foot and you could see that it's got arthritic change across the, like the interphalangeal joints and there was one speech bubble saying we need to leave this which is oh it's okay it's just a bit of arthritis right change the way that we talk to people say this is arthritis we need to actually do something about this now so yeah. that we're sure that we keep control of it and get your dog the best quality of life for as long as possible and it does come from the vet profession having to be brave and say that and it's not easy because i said it's on not a easy no no i had a lady who um she had quite a young dog and she in her head had the you know pictures of hiking and you know mountain biking with her dog and all of these things that she had this vimarana you know this athletic we're going to cover some miles and so when i turned i said well no actually it's got really quite sore elbows and you know looking at breed age this is going to be a dysplasia and this is going to be so didn't want to know doesn't want to know complete denial initially and i think um we need further training as vets of how to stay there stick with it bear you know bear it and keep going because they do come back if we keep the same kind of support service and structure and be there for them but i think we do find it quite difficult to have that conversation is that fair to say no i think yeah i think you're absolutely right it is difficult to have that conversation and you're basically saying, look, this is this is going to be, we're going to have to be constantly working on this. Mm -hmm. This is a lifelong thing. But I think if we can frame that conversation, as veterinarians frame that conversation in an optimistic way, and quite appropriately so, um, because if you catch something early, that's got to be more optimistic 